want to hear from both of you the story of when you first found out. When she gave me the diagnosis that it was cancer, I cried. I cried. I cried. I really cried. It, it, it is sad. It is, it is not a diagnosis that you want to hear, that you have um, an illness that will lead to death. Mentally, it was a lot to take in that I had this thing. The afternoon, Chelsea, I sat down on the stairs and I started to scream. I started to scream, I started to scream, I started to scream. I started to scream. I really screamed because I was angry. I was angry that I got, I have this thing. I have this thing, I was angry, I was angry at myself because I, I had, there were things happening that I didn't, um, I did not do anything about it at that time and I had a lot of responsibility so I was angry, I was angry and I was screaming, I was screaming, I was really screaming, I was venting and they thought I was going mad, you know, my, my mom thought I was going mad. But I wasn't, I think that was my way of accepting what I had. I had to let it out and I let it. I think the name, not I think the neighbors heard me and I was really screaming. I was really screaming. And when I went through that, I'm sorry. When I, when I did this, I calmed down. Calmed down, really calmed down. And I said, you know what? I'm going to beat this. You're not going to beat me. You are not going to. I'm telling you, I made that statement. You are not going to get the better of me. I'm going to fight. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And I didn't know whatever it took at the time. <laughs> but I said, I'm going to. I'm going to do whatever it takes to give it my all to fight. To fight. And to fight. When I got there, I was with my mom who traveled with me as well as my daughter. My daughter came into the doctor's office with me. So while we sat there, he came and he said, I have good news and I have bad news. So by then my tongue was tied. My daughter took over and she said, we'll take the bad news first. And the bad news was that I was diagnosed the test results came back that I had breast cancer. So just like Leslie Ann, I just burst out into tears. I could not believe, you know, I, I'm a, it, although I heard about breast cancer and I read about breast cancer, but here it is confronting me right now. What is this? So it took me a while to compose myself and then my daughter asked, my daughter was the one who just sprung into action. And what's the good news? Um, the doctor said, well, it's DCIS, the ductal carcinoma in situ, which means that it's in the milk duct, so it has not spread and it's a good opportunity for us to get it out now and so on. And after that, I heard nothing more. She, she was engaging the doctor to find out what else to do. I heard her say, so what are the next steps? And I was just a wreck. I came out of the office and I looked my mom in the eye and I just broke down again. My mom stayed, she's this stoic kind of person and um, very spiritual, very pray prayerful. And she said, God is in control. We're gonna just leave that to God. It really sounds like that death sentence. The big C word is a terrible, terrible word to be told that you have it. Together we fight.